the great things you can do here in Charleston is take a horse-drawn carriage ride and learn all about the city and its history. Rob! Oh my god, that was amazing! What a sight! Have you ever seen that many big cobias all together? Yeah, that was a lot of them. That was some I, big cobia in that group. Yeah, I mean, they all looked huge. I had my eye on one, and then I saw this one. I think he was the granddaddy. I mean, they were all big. There were probably 15 cobia, and Amazing. most of them were, you know, not too much smaller than no, this. No, no, but, but he was the granddaddy. But you know what? I was that, screaming at you underwater dude, that because was, that was... I saw you lining up, and I was like, no, she's got the line gun. I've got a free shaft, and I'm like screaming, sir, sir. Yeah. And, you know, of course, you turned around and finally looked at me and saw me waving you over. Right and came over and placed right. a good shot on him. Well, with your help, like you said, we made him look like a porcupine. I was torn between taking a line gun and a free shafter, mm -hmm. so it, I think it's really smart. You take a free shafter, I take a line, then we're prepared for anything, because he towed me oh, for a yeah. while. Did you see that? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't you. kicking. He was, like, pulling my whole weight for a while. He was pulling you faster, pulling you and the gun faster than I could swim. Then you up. really, yeah. yeah. So well, I, was, I held, on to, held on to your tank there for a while, and yeah. then jetted past you and right, yeah. Yeah, get a couple now of that, shots that on that was him. perfect. Yeah, good job. That is a Thank awesome you. cobia. And why didn't you tell me? I have those cannons on the bottom. <laughs> I'll give you did a little you, surprise there. Did you know that? A little Civil War, uh, little Civil War surprise. That's amazing. Hey, can you hold that up? This is a test of strength. Good thing you go to the gym. Good thing you've got big <laughs> muscles. Love it. <laughs> There's one nice one in the box. Let's go get a few more. When it comes to hunting big fish, experience is very important. And Rob has a spear tip for you. Spear tips. Something I've found that's been really helpful with hunting cobia is when you see a cobia following a stingray and the stingray is swimming, don't chase after the cobia. Chase after the stingray. If you chase after the cobia, the cobia is going to run away. If you go to the stingray, the cobia will come to you. We're about 96 feet and we've got a, uh, a rock ledge here that looks like it's got a pretty good fish show on top of the ledge and uh, underneath the ledge. Looks like it should be a good dive. Let's go see what's down there. So far, we have dove the artificial reefs. From subway cars to cannons, this will be an all-natural reef. And as the bottom looms into view, we can see a number of big grouper cruising around. Sherry takes the first shot. One gag grouper down. Bob spots another gag that slides into a rock. And then, seconds later, comes back out for a fatal look around. Rob reloads and follows the grouper. And as he comes over the ledge, he spots a nice hogfish that he quickly adds to the catch. Sherry has her gag on Stringer. Rob looks for his gag and spots the shaft under a ledge. A resting loggerhead turtle decides this is too much company and swims out of the way.
Rob finally gets the gag onto the stringer. Coming up, sometimes you just gotta stop and play. That is nice. That's a fat cam, huh? Rob, that was an amazing dive. So now, the answer to our quiz. What significant event happened at Fort Sumter? This is where the Civil War began. The first shot was fired from Fort Sumter. Rob Harding has a few tricks up his wetsuit sleeve, and he decides to show us one of his favorite. Coming up to a ledge, he drops his stringer of fish in front of it. And sure enough, a gag pops out to investigate. Rob's aim is perfect. The gag is killed instantly. Sherry Day has her eye on a huge scamp that does not see her. She follows it as it sweeps by and makes a beautiful shot on it. The action has been non-stop. Rob is already lining up on another grouper under a ledge. The shot is good, and he's able to recover the fish easily. With sharks always nearby, a good plan is to send the stringer of fish to the surface so you're not dragging it around. Sherry has found a slipper lobster, an odd-looking type of lobster that is very good eating. In fact, they find a number of them. This is adding up to quite a feast. He was all fanned out with his beautiful tail and beautiful fins. They are uh, gorgeous fish. Yeah, I saw this gag that you got too, and that there's yeah. no slouch there either. Yeah. Very good nice shooting. Nice gag, nice scamp. Your hog. That's what I was looking at while I was get busy getting uh, that one. I saw him swim up. I tried to wait on you, but well, uh, you, you were you, you were reloading. So. Yeah, you can't wait on fish. You got to take the shot when you have them. That is a beautiful fish. I left the grouper with the shaft in it yeah. under the ledge. Um, I grabbed the hogfish, restrung my gun, and then I uh, came back over and I saw the end of the shaft sticking out. And when I peeked under the ledge, I saw a nice big sea turtle that yeah. wedged itself under the ledge there. It was just amazing. You get these slipper lobsters, scams, hogs. That's one of the most amazing ledges I've ever seen. Beautiful. Uh, that's what South Carolina diving is about. Let me tell you, you live in a great place. <laughs> This is great. Dolphin. A group of spotted dolphin happened by. They're circling us. And seem to almost be calling Sherry to play with them. So she slips back into the water. And for a few glorious moments, Sherry Day becomes a dolphin. Oh my gosh, 
That was like a, a spiritual experience for me. That was beautiful. It was so much fun. They miss you. They I'll were like, I know, they won't leave me, and I don't want to leave, but it's time to go. But look. Well, that's it for day two in Charleston, South Carolina, and what an amazing day it has been. We started off with a monster cobia, got a bunch of scamps, lobster, amazing sights. Nice yep. hogfish and swimming hogfish. with dolphins. You can't and, top yeah, a date like Yeah, that. you can't top that. It cannot get any better. And the good news is we've got one more day in Charleston, South Carolina. It's going to be pretty nasty out here. This nice ride we've had is about to come to an end. As long as we don't get too far from shore, it can't stack up that big. At least that's what we're telling ourselves right now. Day three does not start out well. Conditions change dramatically, but the spear gun hunter team will meet the challenge head on. A couple of nice flat fish and a couple of sheep's head. 